Hey, it's Smitty coming to you live from the Smitty Dome. Uh, I got another installment of uh, Champions Perspective uh, with me as always, uh, Tim. Tim, how you doing, buddy? Living the dream. Uh, trying to burn off some of those Thanksgiving Day calories, you know? Uh, I like the change of music there. Was that a new song to kick it off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> nice. Feeling, feeling a little lively, a little, feeling a little dangerous this morning, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. When the baker turns into the butcher, that's always a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. How about that game this weekend? How huh? that was good shit. Effing fantastic, man. It just, it's so funny that, like, how many games do you think we would have won if we would have fired Hugh after the first year? Or if we never hired him at all? Like, I still don't think we should have went undefeated. You, there's a lot of shit football being played. If you look at the Bills and yeah. some of these other teams in the league this year, they're just terrible. But they managed to squeak out a game or two somehow, and we just looked at that for so long. And now, you know, they got us moving in the right – it's just – it's good yeah. to see. It's, it's fun I mean, to watch we got, football we let Oakland. We let Oakland sneak one out on us, you know? Yeah. It would have been an offer for a while. We let Pittsburgh sneak one out on us. You yeah. know, how many games did we go to overtime on? Just It's just – and just poorly coached all the penalties. Have you noticed how the penalties have – Yep. Going way down, yep. way down. I mean, is that on a coaching staff or what? It always is. That's a yeah. coaching thing. That center, that that center, J.C. Treader came out and he goes, you know what, man? The reason the penalties have gone down is because we've got discipline. We've got discipline from Greg Williams now. He's really putting the hammer down on us. Yeah. So that's good to see. It is. It's awesome. But we're not here to recap the Browns week, which was awesome. Everybody should be doing high fives. Yep. We should be here recapping, and what was it called? The Revenge Tour, I think? I don't no, really remember. No, 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 no. It's no, over. Not, <laughs> whatever we're not whatever recapping it is, that either. it's over. <laughs> yeah. We got we to gotta get back to the fantasy life. Yeah, like a number four Michigan fantasy of going to the playoffs. Mm. <laughs> All right, TK, let's, uh, let's get back into our weekly recap. All right. All right, Timmy, looking at uh, last week's games, we'll start off with uh, me versus Puffer. Battle for uh, the division. Yeah, I, I, I said uh, you'd pick this one, and I was right. The thing I had no idea on was that Puffer could lay just such an absolute egg. Like 36.3 points? Come on, bro. Come on. That's – you should just be embarrassed. But you took that one down. Nice work. Yep. Yep, felt, felt good, felt good. I'm, I think I'm, I'm tied for the division or leading the division. I think points may have put me in front. We'll get into that. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, up next, we got uh, Holbrook versus Brother Bill. Uh, we got Holbrook, uh, I think it was a Monday night game. Monday nighter, wasn't it, Timmy? Yes. And uh, it was, it was actually really, really close. Like, I mean, it was it was Texas versus Texas, game. right? If the if the Titans had done anything and made that game interesting at all, and the uh, Tech uh, Houston wasn't in like just clock mode for the last I don't know quarter and a half, it could have been real interesting because uh, Holbrook had that Lamar Miller had a ninety-seven yard run which just popped him out ahead real quick. Yep. But then, uh, who's the quarterback? Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. He went for this scamper, and I swear to God, I was watching it, and I'm like, holy shit. And he, like, juke left and went right, and then there was a safety to the right. I really think if he would have bounced that to the left instead of just juked, gone. Six points. Yeah. But it was a very entertaining game, especially with all the fantasy implications on the line. It was, it was good. But uh, uh, Nick took that one down. Yeah. I did call that one as well. No, oh, two, two for two. I was five uh, out of six this week. Oh, uh, up next, uh, yourself versus Scully. Yeah, I picked myself. Uh, Fournette, Chubb, and Juju Smith were just uh, – they they all did very well. So it was a little bit too much uh, to overcome uh, for Scully. He, he actually had a pretty good week. Um, but, um, you know, I, I had a better one. Yep. It was good. I you know what, with as, with as much shit as you're getting about these trades to Cole – and you're giving away, you know, some dudes that are putting up some points. You come back the next week, you put up 141 points. Uh, it's Yeah, you got something going on. But I do want to thank you, uh, Al, for picking your own lineup last week. Mm. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and give that control back to Denise this week if you want. Um, 
there are playoff implementation implement <laughs> say implications. that word. Thank you. On yeah. the line, I believe. Mm. Um, so you might want to have her pick your lineup and get a W next week if you can. Go team Denise if you want Timmy to win. All right. <laughs> Uh, moving on, my, we got future, my future rests on my own shoulders. That's, yeah. it. That's what it comes down to. We got uh, Pete Lamb versus Cole Marshall. Cole Marshall putting up a uh, record, uh, well, a record-breaking score amount to me. We had two records this week then: Puffer on the low end and Cole on the high end. It's uh, that's just that kind of week. Yeah. Um, yeah, Cole's team looks looks real, real tough uh, moving into the playoffs here. Uh, and he actually just made a trade go through. He's going to get better at the tight end position. So, uh, should be interesting. Uh, next up, uh, Ron Meister leading his division versus Mac Chase. Yeah. Uh, uh, it seemed pretty close for a while. Yeah, it was, it was, it's still, you know, it was a close game. Um, and uh, I know Ron had a little bitter beer face about Cole's trades, but all I got to say about that is make some offers then. You know, you can't expect everybody to come to your team and be like, hey, let's do a deal. Like, if you have to try to make your team better as well, just the way everybody else is. Um, and for you, Mac, I'm going to give you the puffer. What the fuck, man? Like, what's this 95 nonsense? I played you. You scored 157.1 points. 157 points. 95 points. Go fuck yourself. Nice job, Mac. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Uh, last up. Adam Davis versus Shoals, the vision game. Davis gets his second win of the year. Davis! Big win for Davis. He did take some casualties, though. Uh, Melvin Gordon getting hurt is going to suck. But, you know, this is one of those things where, I again, back to the trades, because I know that's a hot topic right now. I reached out to Davis, and, you know, we applauded him at the time, but there were still three or four people in the trophy hunt, or the toilet bowl trophy hunt. I was one of them. Yep. He had already assumed he locked it up. But, you know, if he wins this week and he wins next week, which he could because Puffer's team's on a slide, he's just one game out. So if he would have made that trade two, three weeks ago when I offered it, it could have put him in a spot where he wouldn't have got that trophy. But, you know, the hindsight's twenty twenty. Well, I'll tell you what, on the, uh, on the flip side of that too, Timmy, him beating Shoals, which we'll take a look at next, uh, projected popped you right in the playoff bracket. It did. I am currently in the playoff hunt. Yep, you but, might you might have to cut some balls on that one. Oh, I got to – like I said, what was it, four weeks ago I said, I got to – it's on me. I had to win three out of four. These last three I got to take yep. home or or it's done. All right, buddy, let's, uh, let's take a look at divisions in the uh, projected playoff bracket. Let's do it to it. All right, Timmy, looking at uh, divisions here, we'll start off with the good. You got uh, – well – with division games only one left, Ron has hold of his division at ten and two, followed by Cole, tied with Mac, and uh, that actually Ron's going to be the number one seed no matter what at this point, right? Yeah, yeah, I do agree with you. Yeah, and Pete Lamb bringing up the rear. Yeah, so you know, that's another thing. You know, I offered, you know, I float a couple trades out to Pete. Some of these guys are just real hard to trade with. You know, it's. And I understand everybody puts a high value on the players they draft and they like, but sometimes you just, you got to look at the numbers a little bit, I guess. Like I, I made a move for Elshon Jeffrey. Thank you, Pete, for not accepting any of those trades. I really do appreciate that, honestly, because Elshon Jeffries has been no good for you. And I'm, tr you know, just trying to make things happen. I, I reach sometimes, and but thank you. Thank you well, for not taking that deal. That's a, it's a dig on Pete, if anybody was wondering. Uh, <laughs> Moving down, we're looking at uh, division, uh, the ugly. We got uh, Holbrook at six and six. We got Timmy, who jumped up from last, in second place, five and seven. Tied with, chair. Bill, tied with Scully. This is where it gets interesting. If I win, I'm in. I've got the same divisional record as Nick right now. So if I win, we have the same record, I'm in. I move on, I win the division. Yep. So you're playing Nick this week, is that what you're telling me? I do play Nick this week. Uh, I'm yeah. up, man. But I do believe there's other playoff implications. God damn it. I don't know why I, I got to quit drinking. Yeah, you implications. do. There's different implications with the playoffs on this week. So yeah. I, I think Bill or Scully might be able to sneak, sneak in depending on their records compared to what Ben does. And um, Yeah, I mean, uh, 
the division we just looked at, uh, Cole and Mac. There's a chance. There's a chance they take three. Right. Because if like I'm sure we'll go to the real quick. Well, let's look at the bad, and then we'll go to the playoff brackets. Roger that. We got oh. you taking over, yep. taking over the top spot. Um, yeah. You you've been cruising along. Uh, there's a new high point leader. I think it goes Cole, then you, then Ron. Is no, no, it? no, it goes it goes Cole, then Ron, then me. Ron okay, about ten points. Okay, so next week you'll jump them. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this week. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I've been on a I've been on a winning streak since I uh, first beat Cole five games ago. There you go, man. So can't yeah. argue with that. So with that, Timmy, let's let's move over to the uh, projected playoff bracket after these. God, my Best division is just so crazy close. <laughs> uh, I I screenshot last night. I woke up about three, fucking around on stuff, and I screenshotted uh, last week's projected playoffs, and and what a difference this week had made. Yeah. It's huge, and this this coming week will be the same. Like right now, I jumped up. You know, and I'm in there. Uh, I think I hooked in at the seven spot, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we got Nick sitting there at four. I, is he, no, he's at three. Those are the division leaders. So, basically, the guys that are set are um, it's like one, two. The third spot can be uh, Nick or myself at this point. We're going to play yep. each other. If I win, I take that spot. If and then he would lose and slide into my my spot at seven. Um, but if I lose, then that that's where Ben, um, Bill, and Al all come into play for the playoffs. So it, it can really topsy turvy again. There are some things that are going to be pretty much they are where they are at this point. Like even but your spot, you know, you might slide to um, absolutely, if, absolutely. Yeah. If I, if I lose to uh, Scholes this week, I could I could drop out of that two spot for sure. And, right, and that would slide you into that four spot playing uh, Cole, which whose team is a monster right now. So mm-hmm. everybody wants to stay out of that side of the bracket. So yeah, the um, only the only solid here, like you mentioned, is uh, is Ron at the top. Yeah, should be an interesting week. Looking down, you got yeah, like you mentioned, Ben on the outside looking in, brother Bill. I think Scully. Ben. Yeah, it's Ben, Al, and uh, brother Bill. Those yep. are the guys that they, they got a shot to peek their head in there and maybe sniff the playoffs, depending on how mine and Nick's game turns out. Yep, Roger that. All right, buddy. Uh, let's get into uh, next week's picks. Let's do it to it. All right, Timmy, uh, looking at week 13, last game of the uh, divisional matchups. Uh, we'll start off with uh, me versus Ben. Uh, hey, well, I also want to throw a thanks to Ben for not trading Josh Gordon. That's one of those things where, you know, you could add a little depth at running back where you're really hurting right now. But instead, you told the, you know, you get your favorite guys, and you're like, oh, my God, they're going to do something. You know, averaging 10 points out of your receiver is – that's good for your wide receiver three, but for your wide receiver one, you know, maybe you should have moved him after a couple of big games. But, you know, who am I to say what, Don? You know, I'm battling for a playoff spot like anybody else. But thanks for not making that move as well, Ben. <laughs> if anybody's making uh, marks at home, that's uh, shade number two Timmy's throwing. <laughs> uh, up next, you got uh, Bill Kovac versus Al Scully. Playoff implications here. There is. I actually picked Bill to win this one. Um, I believe he is – I forget. Was he – Bill is minus four, so he's giving up points? Uh, yeah. What, no, point four, minus point four. It's yeah. Pretty, oh, pretty tight geez, game. that's a tight race. Wow. I did pick Bill to get uh, get his line right. Um, it really is going to swing on Kareem Hunt but I believe they have a favorable matchup. So I went with Bill. Yeah, word on the street is uh, Bill's been reaching out to Katie in these tight races to uh, get a little fantasy advice from her. So, you know, she is a fantasy footballer herself. They play yeah. in a separate family league, so yeah. uh, they do have some fun with it. Katie, so as long don't, as, uh, don't help them too much, all right? Right. If Denise uh, puts Al's lineup together, he might be untouchable, but I'm still uh, picking brother Bill here. Yep. Uh, moving down, Tim, we got uh, you versus bro-in-law Nick. 
this is it. Chip in a chair, baby. Win and I'm in. Win and I'm in. It's all me. I got this. I got it. I know he's projected to win by 20 right now, but projections are for pussies. I'm going back to that bandwagon. I'm, there it is. I got it. Uh, up next, uh, Puffer versus Davis. Davis um, looking for his third win. Man, I really wanted to pick Davis to win this game because Puffer's team's on such a slide, but Davis losing, Go- Davis losing Gordon hurt. Like, that. it is what it is. You lost the top four running back uh, for your fantasy team. That sucks. I, I'm not trying to rub that in, Davis. I swear. I know that sucks. Um, I really did want to pick you to win, but because Gordon's out, um, I'm going mean, to say you, Puffer. You pretty much – you feel his pain, to tell you the truth, Timmy. I do. You know, Len Fournette's out this week. I got to make, you know, everybody mocked that trade, but I had a little bit of running back depth to, you know, hopefully it's enough to get me through yeah. uh, this stupid uh, – it is what it is. I don't want to yeah. go off on a tangent. Let's right, go. So who'd you pick there? Pick Puffer? <laughs> pick Puffer to win? I did. Pick All Puffer right. to win because of the injury. Uh, up next, Pete Lamb versus Mac Chase. I uh, picked Mac to win this one. His team uh, – Pete's running backs have some rough matchups this week. Like, if you were to open it, they all play pretty tough defenses. And yeah. Pete lives and dies by his running backs right now. So, it's one of those things where um, if they if struggle, he, he struggles. If, I know he's he, got Patty Mahomes, but. If he can start four of them, he, he would. You yes. Know? But yes. he can't. So, we'll see. Hopefully, those running backs come through for him. But I don't think they will, which is why I picked Mac to win. Huh. Uh, last up, wow, this could be a uh, – you got Ron versus Cole. This uh, this could be a semifinal uh, matchup. It makes- really could be. It, it's it's going to be an interesting game. Um, I actually picked Cole to win because his team is just rolling. He keeps making deals. And, uh, you know, some people are upset. But it's one of those things um, you can't really complain about it if you're not jumping into the trading pool. Um, it's kind of like complaining about politics and not voting. It, mm. If you're not going to participate, you really shouldn't be too pissed off about it because, you know, we all drafted and we all want to get better. So sometimes, you know, people are gambling and mm. you're reaching and you're pushing and you're trying to put the best best team together for that week or even in the long run sometimes, which is why I think Holbrook made that deal. Um, you know. He's got two good tight ends. He wants to get better at wide receiver. I don't know why he wouldn't just play one of them at flex, but it is what it is. Um, I'll but tell yeah. you what, though, Ron, Ron, Ron drafted a hell of a team. He did. He yep. sure did. And he made one spectacular pickup off the waiver wire. Yeah. A lot of guys, you know, it's it's a long season, though. That's why you got to keep churning and burning, you know, like guys yep. get hurt. Uh, you know, I know Mel Gordon's on Davis's team, which, you know, I'm again, Davis, I'm not rubbing it in. And I know you had some good games and you, you got some bad beats this year. But it's one of those things where if he was on somebody's contender's team, you could be effed because you're, you're, you know, you didn't make any moves. You're like, my team's set. You got to build a little bit of depth and push for the, those playoffs, you know. Sure. And uh, hopefully I stack my team right and I can sneak myself into the back door of the playoffs. Um if I can get in, it'd be it'd be a real a lot of fun. It'd be a lot more fun doing these videos, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I can't say we're all rooting for you, Timmy, because I'm sure there's dudes out there that uh, want your spot as much as you do. Absolutely, everybody should want to get in. Yeah. That's why we do it. Yeah. But you could go fuck yourselves, because I am. I'm okay. getting in. <laughs> Good to hear. All right, buddy. With that, uh, we're gonna cut out this episode. Thanks for your time, as always, buddy. Uh, no, you have a great night, uh, great rest of the week. Good luck to everybody, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun this week, pushing for the playoffs. Pushing for the playoffs.